the human ear. In reality, sound waves are not really sound. They are merely compressional waves in medium. They only become sound when your ears receive them as sound. Compressional waves are passed on as vibrations to the delicate inner part of your ear which are eventually converted into electrical impulses. These signals are then transmitted through the branches of your auditory nerves into your brain and it is here that we distinguish them as sound. There are three major parts of the ear. One, external. Two, middle. And three, inner. The external part called the pinna collects the sound which is carried by auditory canal to the eardrum. The eardrum is a thin membrane. It is set into vibrations due to the sound reaching it. When a compression of medium reaches the eardrum, the pressure outside the membrane increases and forces the eardrum inwards. The eardrum moves outwards when a rarefaction reaches it and the eardrum vibrates. The vibrations are amplified and carried to the inner part of the ear. A part of the auditory nerve connects the part of inner ear to the brain. There is a spiral chamber like a snail shell in the inner ear called cochlea. It is responsible for recognizing the qualities of sound, that is, loudness and pitch. In cochlea, the vibrations received from the eardrum are converted into nerve impulses or electrical signals which are sent to the brain through the auditory nerve. The brain then interprets them as sound. The amplitude of vibration of membrane gives the brain a measure of loudness of sound being heard. 